S3 standard IA, the IA standing for infrequent access, is a storage class designed for data that is less frequently accessed but requires rapid access when needed. It has 11 nines of durability, like S3 standard, like every other storage class that is recommended for use. Uh, its availability is only three nines as opposed to four nines like S3 standard. That makes sense because this is for less uh, frequently accessed data. So it's going to have a reduction in availability. For redundancy, it's still stored in three or more availability zones. For cost effectiveness, it's 50% less than standard. Uh, but I need to point out a caveat is that as long as you don't access the file then more than once a month, and the reason we say that is because it has to do with retrieval fees. So yes, it is cheaper as long as you're not fetching the file a bunch of times. The retrieval time is within milliseconds. It's not single digit, but it's still really fast like S3 standard. Same throughput as S3 standard, same scalability as S3 standard. You're gonna wanna use this for disaster recovery, backups, long-term data stores, uh, but you still need to be able to get access to the data um, in real time. In terms of pricing, it's storage per gigabyte. It's you pay per request. It has a retrieval fee. That's the important thing. That's why you don't want to uh, request things often. Otherwise, that 50% advantage is not going to work the way you think it's going to work. And it has a minimum storage duration charge of 30 days. So if you were expecting to only have that data for a few days to save money uh, and then delete it, it's not going to work with this class. And so there's a few where there's a few classes where you have to have data sitting there for a period of time, okay? So there you go.